Jordan, looking at the squad, Stevie Me and Ryan Golden for the first time. What's the thinking behind that? Just good young players. Um, just good young players. Uh, I like to do that. If you looked at the squads over the last year or so, I like to bring in people that I don't know personally, um, and I've seen them from afar. But I like to see how the deal with the squad, and, I'll, and I just like to meet these young players. That I'm sure in the future will make an impression, and they'll be regular in the squad. The it's a good way of getting to know people, actually. Very, you know, get to know people and and see how they react with the rest of the squad. We've discussed before about players broadening their horizons. Do you feel that that's helped them over the last month or two going away from Scotland and developing elsewhere? Well, I don't know. I really don't know. The only time will tell if that's got a development <coughs> between, uh, especially themselves, how you develop. I think you can develop in most places if you really want to develop and, and use the hours that are given to you to train. Uh, I see no reason why you can't be anywhere and develop. You know. I was at Dundee, I used to go back in the afternoon with Bobby Robertson, John Duncan, George Mackey in practice, crossing, finishing. So I think, you know, we did it at Dundee many moons ago. The hours are there if you want to use it. They're in the squad. How much of a headache or how much can they come into your squad into the thinking to potentially push for a place in the teams? I just may, I may, add, I may add another one to that. Oh, and and a, 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 a player that um, I've only seen from afar. I'm waiting on injury reports and games tonight. So, is it encouraging that you have got more young players coming into the squad and, and breaking in and giving you a, a selection headache potentially? Well, over the next few years, I, I hope there's going to be a lot more. They've got to give me, give me and the players that are here just now. But what you've got to do when you come along with us is you give yourself up for this group of players. Um, you might want to play. You know, a certain way, but when you come here, we've got a couple of ways we want to play. And if you can fit into that system, that's great. There might be some some players out there who cannot, at this moment, fit into the system. You know, so um, that's what we're doing. We've got a group of players now who are who are regulars and know how we want to play, and understand that the the time you have to give up when you come to the squad now. What have you made of the way Stevie has settled in the championship? I seen him last week uh, against Reading, and uh, pleased with him. Yeah, obviously pleased with him, because I wasn't pleased with him then. He wouldn't be in the squad. So uh, he, he did enough um, to get picked. I mean, I, I think we've got to give him the, the, the squad against Nigeria, but uh, there was a big game for under 21s. So it was always going to happen for Steve. It was just when it was. I think we are making sure we didn't pick him in the last squad. We wanted to make sure we settled in his new club. In terms of lying, playing out with Britain, how, how can that be beneficial to Scotland going forward, having somebody who plays in a, a different... Well, as I said before, it's, uh, but I wouldn't say his style was any different from Sean Maloney. So um, that's been developed in Scotland. So I wouldn't say it's that much, that much different. Gordon, yeah, we've got Ryan Golden there and uh, Stevie May. You hinted at a third man. Could you give us a, who might be coming into your thoughts? Could you say he's playing tonight? It'd be, it'd be a younger type player. A younger type player. The uh, one I've never really engaged with before. But we'll have to see. We'll have to see. Is he in Scotland or...? I'm just, just getting like 20 questions a game. I watched some telly in the afternoon. <laughs> is Eunice Stubbs here as well? <laughs> Let me think. Do you want me...? <laughs> we'll move on to the next one now. Scott Brown's back in the squad. How important is it to have him back? Well, I think if you ask any manager who's had him, how important he is to have about the place. Not just his playing ability, that's fantastic, but just to have him about the place. Is, uh, he, uh, he radiates. There's Bruni. Reynolds remains in. Is that, it's encouraging to see another Scottish based player in Gordon. What, what is it about him that has uh, made him remain in your squad? Well, he's, he's, he's form at Aberdeen. The fact that when he, when he comes to the squad, to, he, he buys into it. He, buys, he gives us everything he's got. Um, so that's basically it. And he's, he's good with the rest of the players. Looking at the two games, do you target? The amount of points you want, do you have to keep the George game? No, the you, know, you never know what's coming in football. Uh, I don't think uh, we've ever done that and so say you, you get two points, three points for that one, one point. It doesn't work that way in football. You go out and try and win every game and see where it takes you. The encouraging signs from Dortmund, do you have to now take that on? Yeah, I, I think when we get together again, we'll, we'll talk about the first 20 minutes and I think we'll look at it and think, yeah, probably could have passed the ball better. For all the... You know the, the the tactics and systems. I think we we probably agree 
that we could have passed the ball better. I think the players were in a, in a rush to uh, create um, positions on the pitch that we've been working on at training, but it, it wasn't there at the time. I think they're in a rush, so much in a hurry to try and um, do what the coaching staff would want from them. I think we need to settle them down, and we had to change the system just for a couple of, uh, for a while after about 25, because our, our passing didn't allow us to actually use the system we, we started out with. Uh, but once we got that going, and you've seen in the, the longer the game went on, the passing was a big difference. At Ibrox, do you change the approach because you're the home team this time? Oh, I think so. Yeah, yeah. But as I say, we, we, we only tweak it what we've got. We're our systems. We only tweak it. But, but, we can't change it dramatically, and I don't want to change it dramatically because I do believe that the, the players that we've got here are, are quite happy with that system. But as I say, it's only a tweak here and there. How beneficial is it that you've gone to Poland already this year and won at the same stadium? Well, the good thing about it is we know the hotel, we know the training facilities, we know the stadium, we know it's going to be a terrific atmosphere. I mean, a really terrific atmosphere. Um, and our fans have got along and even add to that atmosphere that they've got there. Um, but I don't think it'll make any difference to the, the game itself. They'll, they, they'll have players in the squad that didn't happen before, and uh, we'll have this, we'll do the same. What have you made of Georgia, Gordon, have you seen? Yeah, I've seen, obviously, bits. We're working on the video and things like that just now. They're talented players, and they probably count themselves lucky to get beat with, with the, uh, the Republic. You know, if you look at the chances they made, they're talented players. Um, they've got a small squad. Sometimes that's good because you get to it's like a club side. So they, 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 I think the coach would have been pleased with a lot of things they did against Republic, um, but they got beat with a, a terrific goal from Aiden in the last couple of minutes. You know, so there's only so much you can do as a team. But a goal like that is very hard to stop. You were famous for trying to hurdle an uh, advertising board with his turmeric spires famous for booting one when he was at Newcastle. Um, what do you make of him and the way he sets his team out and also the fact that he's played in Scottish football before at one of your former clubs, Dundee, will That's that help right. him? I've no idea. You'd have to ask him, him that. Uh, what you're saying is probably you have to take the, the holding boards away from us around the pitch. That's one of the first things you've got to do. But I met him uh, at the draw in, uh, in France. Smashing fella. Enjoyed his company. We came, we came unstuck against Georgia in 2008, so maybe fans won't be, will remember that and they won't be expecting I think fans are now, you know, after when people, I remember the campaign last time talking about Serbia, and people go, well, we really should be beating Serbia, but actually look at Serbia. That's a two, 200 million team in transfers. If you actually look at what they cost and where they play, you know, it's nearly 200 million. Is David Marshall your number one now? We have got three terrific goalkeepers. I think Craig Gordon has, has done tremendously well to get back to where he is because a couple of years ago it would be very difficult. Um, but I think if you speak to anybody at Celtic, anybody who's watched him this year, when he's back to where he is. So uh, we have got three wonderful goalkeepers. Yes, yes. Um, but Craig's playing regular at a real high level. Jokes have been terrific for us and terrific for the group. Um, but at the moment, Craig is playing at that, that high level. Been about a year in Scotland, Gordon. We've had the Commonwealth Games, the referendum, the Ryder Cup, and now uh, Scotland are about to start the first home match in the European Championship qualifiers. Can you match any of those events for excitement? <laughs> Well, I've got to say that the Ryder Cup now, the, especially the final day, is the best day in sport now. I think it's the best day in sport. I keep asking people, can you remember the last good World Cup final? And people scratch their head. I can't remember. I can remember the Ryder Cup. I think it's just a tremendous, tremendous occasion. Um, if you can come anywhere near that, that would be fantastic for the excitement. <laughs> um, but, you know, it just shows you that... Uh, doesn't matter what position, what position you're on the pitch. Um, you never know who's got to be the the leading man. You might have captains, but the leading man might be somebody else. So it's it's up to everybody to take responsibility, which uh, as the twelve guys did 
on Sunday. They all showed tremendous responsibility. Everybody had a, a, a terrific performance. Some didn't win because of playing somebody who was better than That can happen. Um, but they must be really pleased with themselves. The Georgia games at Ibrox, do you have any preferences to where these Scotland internationals are played? No, not at all. Does it make uh, a difference? I'll tell you later on. <laughs> <laughs> can I tell you the now? But we, uh, I think if you ask any player if they like playing at Ibrox and Celtic Park, yeah. matter of fact, other great atmosphere places, you can go Easter Road, but t Tyne Castle, but it's not got the, the facilities to have an international game. I think that's uh, it's wonderful uh, atmosphere there. So there's a lot of places we could go and play, but we're, we're definitely looking forward to going to Ibrox, that's for sure. Gordon, is this a good time for an international manager now because you have got quite a few games now coming thick and fast? Oh, no, I like it in the summer, there's no games. <laughs> Does it make it, in terms of it being busy now, when you get to meet the players, is this where you can get your message across more? Well, to be fair, the message's not going to change much. You know, what we'll do is probably it'll be about 20 minutes, 25 minutes of analysis in the last game. Um and move on with the same sorts of ideas we'll try to put what were the players of the last 18 months um, so it'll not change much yeah, it, it, it might have to change a wee bit a couple of things we may have to look at because of the system that they play we won't change too much in what we've got to try and do You've got an extra striker there there's a chance you could play perhaps two up front for this game It, it depends what you call two up front I think if you look at our games recently, we're trying to get people all around the main striker. So I think uh, you know there's different ways of supporting your striker. I watched Derby the other day there. They have one main striker, but there seems to be three or four around them every time he gets the ball. So we'll have a look at that.